welcome to The Hot Tag with your girl Izzy. Today, I am super excited to be joined by somebody who has been seen on WWE, Evolve, Ring of Honor, and so much more. He's been a part of several groups, which includes one of my favorites, The Ugly Ducklings. He has been kicking butt and taking names on the independent scene. He is the one and only Colby Carino. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Good. I know I already asked that, but I don't know if you want to hear for that or anything. So a lot has been happening from your personal life to your pro wrestling career. So give us a little update. What's been going on? Uh, obviously, there hasn't been much wrestling shows going on, but uh, I've been spending a lot of time at the Carolina Wrestling Academy. I'm a tra yes. trainer here. Um, I'm actually here right now. We're about to have a show tonight, yes. and uh, it will be uploaded to IWTV at a date to be announced. Nice. And where can everybody find this promotion? On independentwrestling.tv. They're uh, just typing in on the internet. On the internet. <laughs> we love the internet. It's where we get everything. <laughs> it's probably where they're watching this. Probably. The lovely YouTubes. <laughs> so you are a second generation wrestler, which I think is super awesome. You are continuing on the legacy that your dad, Steve Carino, left in the ring. Huge shout out to him because he's awesome. He rocks. Now we see guys like Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt, and so much more carry on that legacy. With that being said, do you ever feel pressure in going into a match or just in general in the pro wrestling industry? Uh, I do, but it's, it's a good pressure. It's not one that like brings me down. It's one that like drives me and motivates me to be the best that I can be. I feel like, um, like my name gave me a little bit of a head start in wrestling, mm -hmm. and it's up to me to take it a little bit farther, you know? Yeah, and that's a good I challenge for me. I love that answer. You know, that's so true. You know, motivation is always great. Now, speaking of your dad, you've mentioned before that he didn't really pressure you into entering this business. So what triggered you to say, I want to be a part of the pro wrestling industry? Um, well, I've been around wrestling literally my whole life. My, I went to my first wrestling show when I was three weeks old. And, yeah, that's uh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so like literally for my whole life, the only thing that I've wanted to do was be a wrestler. And my dad was just encouraging of that fact. He, uh, he was encouraging a, of me to do anything I wanted to do. That mm -hmm. thing just so happened to be wrestling. So it was a benefit. Definitely, you know, I like, I, I think we kind of have like the same story, you know, where our parents are so supportive about our crazy dreams of being a pro wrestler. So like, that's, I love that. It's so cool to hear like other people have the same story. Now, before you got into your pro wrestling career, you used to do amateur wrestling, which I think is so cool because I used to do it, but it's currently on pause due to the pandemic. But hey, Corona was like, let's join in. <laughs> so <laughs> many people believe that amateur wrestling transitions into pro wrestling. For, but for you, like, did your amateur wrestling like transition into your work in the ring? And if so, how? Uh, amateur wrestling taught me a great deal about ring awareness and body control, which yeah. is something that I feel like is necessary in pro wrestling. And um, I recommend any new pro wrestler look into trying amateur wrestling first, just to get a sense of their body control and their mat awareness, because it will definitely be a benefit when you become a pro wrestler. Yes, if you're an aspiring wrestler watching, grab a notepad and a pen, take some notes, because this guy right here has some great knowledge. <laughs> now, uh, you, like, going back to when you were younger, you know, you were saying that you went to your first wrestling gym when you were three weeks old, but you also got into, like, in the ring when you were young as well. Now, there are definitely some challenges being the youngest in the locker room, and this is kind of a reassuring question for me so what were some of the challenges you faced when you were you know the youngest in the locker room and like kind of having to deal with only adults well it, it, it was kind of like intimidating because being the only like 12 and 13 year old in the room when in a room of grown ass uh, oh i'm sorry Are no it's good oh. it's gonna happen it's gonna happen <laughs> We're trying to keep a PG here. I'm right, sorry. This is a children's show, Colby. This is a children's oh, show. I'm joking. I'm sorry. No, no, everybody watches it. Gro <laughs> grown adults. And um, grown adults. it was a little intimidating for me. And yes. <laughs> there, there were some people in the back that would tell me to just quit wrestling because I was too small. And it just gave me a little bit more uh, drive to succeed in spite of them. So. Mm. You know. Yeah, I, I totally feel for you because 
I would like I deal with it all the time you know when my first match you know I was the youngest there I was the youngest girl having a match <laughs> at 10 years old so like I definitely know what it's like and it's really nice to hear that somebody else has those problems too <laughs> <laughs> now moving on to your personal life you became a father to one of the cutest babies in the world back in May congratulations on that but you're also a pro wrestler which includes travel you know, some shows go a little late, which is most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you balance being a dad and a pro wrestler at the same time? Because those things are like really don't fit together in some people's opinion. So like, but you do, you handle it really well. So how do you balance that? Uh, it really helps that I have a really good family behind me. One that they're actually right here, right now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, um, that really helps in being a wrestler and a father because uh, it just, it's good to have good support systems. And if I was making them mad and, or upset by wrestling, it would, it wouldn't make the family dynamic very well, but uh, we bring him to as many shows as we can. And the ones that are a little too far, we luckily have some people that will watch him and love to hang out with him for the time being. So Definitely. it's pretty, it's, it's challenging, but it's a good challenge. If you ever need me like a babysitter call me because you know, <laughs> i love i love doing that so we were so we were just talking about you being very young and everything so with the holidays obviously coming up the best time of year besides halloween y'all <laughs> what was your favorite you know wrestling gift that you ever got as a kid for christmas my favorite wrestling gift yeah. oh man if it's like a bell or like i don't know like i don't know what kids got back in the day i'm I'm young. <laughs> a few years ago, my dad got me a brand new pair of boots, and Ooh. it was that was I think that was my favorite wrestling related gift. Definitely some good use. It's a very good present. Thank you, Steve Carino. <laughs> so <laughs> finally, where can everybody find you on social media? Where can they find your matches? And if you have pro wrestling tees, which I know you do, you know, plug yourself. Do a shameless plug. All right, let's buckle in. So you yes. can find me on Twitter at Colby Carino. You can find me on Instagram at Colby.Carino since apparently someone else is at Colby Carino on Instagram. I know. I saw. I was pretty mad about that. <laughs> uh, all, you can go to my Pro Wrestling Tees, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Colby Carino. I also have a What A Maneuver store, WhatAManeuver.com slash Colby Carino as well. And oh, what else am I doing? You can find my matches on YouTube and also quite a few on IWTV. Yes, um, definitely. And... Check out the PWF shows on IWTV, which we are taping tonight right now. Yay, definitely. We love wrestling. And everybody go follow Colby so that other fake bot, I don't know what you want to call it, but so that fake account just gets removed. Just kick him out. <laughs> well, Colby, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me today. I had a great conversation. You know, definitely a little technical stuff, but hey, it's, it's going to happen, but thank you so much. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, of course. And thank you guys for joining me on this episode of The Hot Tag with your girl Izzy. I will see you guys next time.